my name is Emily, and this is my girlfriend, Monica. Before we get into the surprise of the century, I thought I'd give you a little bit of context. Monica and I met when we were 14, and we were best friends for the next four years. Until the summer after high school, when feelings came out of nowhere, and suddenly I found myself falling in love with my best friend, who was just about to move to a college 653 miles away. Over the course of the following year, so many things happened. It was a wild ride. We didn't want to risk our friendship, and we didn't know what to do. But ultimately, feelings just kept growing on both ends, and on February 27th, 2015, she asked me to be her girlfriend. Aww. Gross. Thus, the start of a long-distance relationship, one in which we only get to see each other around two to three trips a year. A 10-hour drive isn't exactly something we can do frequently on a college student budget, not to mention that I don't have a driver's license and have never flown before. I know she's always wished I would surprise her, but there's never been a feasible way for me to do so. After almost two years together, it can get a little frustrating. This year has been particularly difficult, and our visits until we graduate are going to be limited to less than a week together at a time. Since the summer, we've only had 72 total hours together, and we wouldn't be seeing each other for a couple more months. Or so she thought. Michaela texted me randomly, and it was like out of the blue. On November 29th, I got a text from Monica's roommate asking if I was willing to learn how to fly. Her LGBT club at school was going to throw a gay prom, the gala, if you will, at the end of January, and her friends wanted to surprise her. Naturally, I was in. When I think about the actual trip, I'm actually really excited for it. I made a packing list already, and we've got like 16 days, so we got time. I'm excited, and I'm excited to surprise her. Figured out what Sam looks like for the trip. Sam's gonna pick me up from the airport and I'm gonna be staying with Sam Friday night. And this morning, I got my flight finalized. So, tomorrow I'm flying for the first time ever. I'm gonna go surprise my girlfriend at a gay prom that her friends are throwing and she has no idea I'm coming. Um, so it's really exciting. So, the prom is Saturday night, but I'm flying out. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm flying out early, early in the morning. And I'm gonna be in my girlfriend's college town by noon. And I'm gonna be staying with a mutual friend that we have um, overnight and then surprise her with the news on Saturday. So <laughs> that's exciting. This is like the first time I've ever surprised her. So it's really exciting. Oh my gosh, hi vlog! This Hello. is Sam! I daily I'm vlog. not sure if I've ever been in your vlog. I have daily <laughs> vlogged for over 800 days straight, so this is what Hell I do yeah. at the end of every single day. <laughs> I knew that part. So hi vlog, how are you today? And so Monica, if you're watching this in the future, hi, how are you? <laughs> it me. It's nice to be you. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Enjoying the I fact, can't wait until you see this. I'm just enjoying the fact that you're gonna be so pissed off that I was here for over 24 hours and you had no right. idea. I arrived over an hour early to get ready. The plan was simple. I was going to hide in a back room and Monica's roommate was going to tell her that she needed to talk to her about something and bring her in. It's kind of funny actually. Monica had had a really hard week and had been texting me all day about not wanting to go to the dance and wishing I was actually going to be there. She had absolutely no idea what was waiting for her at the end of the hall.
see from the clip, she was like, who are you? <laughs> so that's so cute. That's <laughs> that my best friend. What? It's <laughs> pretty cool. So that was our day. So when I, she's super tired and I wake up early. So we're going to go. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.